friends how are you welcome to our African food section of our business so the focus on this side of our business is to introduce you to the various types of foods that we have in Africa and we just call it African foods we talk about nutrition we talk about healthy food we talk about all kinds of things that helps the body to go healthy and keep you fit so today we've got something exciting to show you and I'm going to take you right into it. Welcome on board and my name is Joy Fidel. Okay, so what we're going to get on with today is what we call the dodo or otherwise known as plantain. This is what they look like. Okay, so plantain is very very similar to banana. Only difference is they are a lot thicker and normally there are so many different ways of eating it. Um, it's something that we love in Africa a lot and I know other cultures eat plantain like I think the Caribbeans and Bangladeshi Asians it is something that is absolutely stuck full of iron plantain and sometimes people just eat the green one because that contains more iron than the ripe one but the ripe one gives you a lot of beautiful beautiful taste it is so gorgeous but Plantain is eaten in so many ways back home and I'm going to show you one way that we really eat it which is what we call the plant, um, the dodo and dodo is something that we just fry and eat with so many different things okay so the main reason for this video is to show you the different types of equipment that you can work with to fry the dodo in a much more um let's say healthier maybe not necessarily healthier but in a much more safer way um there are so many ways we do it back home um but with technology and with life getting better and more equipment in 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 the shops now there are easier ways you can get your dodo fried without getting burnt that's what i mean by safety and again my daughter who she always is one of the reasons I get inspired to do these things. She wants to eat this. She's in uni, but she struggles to find what to work with. So there are two equipment we're looking at now, actually three, and I'll talk you through them. Um, the first main one is the deep fryer. So the deep fryer, you will not see a university student buying this because A, it's just too cumbersome and it requires a lot of attention and all of that so being an investor you will not be looking at this but a regular household will be investing in this because it makes frying a lot lot easier not just that you can fry so many things with a deep fryer egg i mean not egg um chicken meat um chips whatever else that needs frying so deep fryer does a great job and that is just one of them so the next best thing is this one the regular fryer i will call them regular because this is what happens so they just put like a basket in a regular pot so it's a regular pot and a basket is inserted into it and it comes with a cover so when you're frying the unique thing about it you see that so that little part holds where that basket is and it makes so it when you're ready to fry with this you get your oil and you just pour in there so a good size of oil this is a whole bottle going in there because you want the um dodo to go in and actually get into the oil now the third way which is what i was saying there's another way is the regular frying pan and the frying pan which is what we do back home generally is you just pour the oil in it and then the dodo goes in now that is the unsafe one because it could just be spotting and then the oil is dropping all over you but with this one and the cover that it comes with once you put it on you cover it and that is covered too so those are the equipment so let's get on with our fry. Okay, so now we're preparing the dodo. What you do is top and tail it, which I will show you now again. And then you slant the knife through to take away the skin. 
the skin is quite thick not like banana and then you take it off and that's your planting it and so you slant it when you're cutting it again just like most things um, like chips anything that you fry like yam chips and dodo and cocoa yam there's so many types of root vegetables this is not a root vegetable by the way but those ones there's so many ways you can design the way you cut it so this is the top and tail part you cut that off and you cut that off so once those two are off then you slice in to take off that thick skin and then and then you now slice them watch how i do it slanted you slant your hand you slant your hand slant now this is the regular way we tend to prepare our dodo back home but there are other ways which maybe another time i'll do another video showing different ways of doing this and generally when you do it this way the plan is you want to eat it with egg which is the main thing we're going to be doing today we're going to eat this with egg there are times you could just make your dodo and eat it with rice Okay, so you finish um, cutting your dodo and then the next thing is salt. So you just put a little hint of salt, not too much. And once you finish doing that, the usual thing is you just try and let the salt just blend in everywhere. Now we're ready for frying. Okay, remember whenever you're working with food, your hands are clean all the time. So I've got my hands clean and I'm going to work with my hands to get this done. So you get some of them and you just put in the oil. Now the reason I'm making a big effort about this is because this is a lot more affordable, this type of frying frying pot it is so cheap it's not expensive at all unlike the deep fryer so that's in ready for cooking and I'll just cover it for now so again to show you the other way which is a deep fryer same as this regular fryer you get your you can lift the basket up and you put your Put your dodo in it, just like anything else that you normally fry. So don't overstuff it and then you lift that up and put it in. And again you cover it so it doesn't smoke too much. Okay, so occasionally you check on your food, check on the dodo to see how it's going. Now what we are expecting is a dark brown color. We don't want it to be, like now it's really whitish brown, but we want it to be a bit darker brown. And that's when you'll be ready. So in the meantime, you cover it up again. So again, we are checking for this as well. Now you can see the difference. While the deep fryer is getting a lot quicker ready, this is still taking a bit longer time to get even darker but for a student this is perfect because it will do it will fry it only it will take longer to fry it but at least you have your dough done so be patient with it so now we're gonna get ready to get the egg done um, remember I said we're gonna eat it with egg there are choices but egg is what we're gonna eat it with it today so tomatoes scotch bonnet or, or pepper um, I'm gonna add a bit of ginger which is my one of my favorite thing and I'm gonna add some garlic which we've already prepared some 
and then we'll add a bit of onions as well to get the egg all nicely done so cut your onions like you normally would cut it but I like to dice the onions not to make it too big okay so what you want to do is keep checking on it and you can now see that this is really dark brown and so this is ready so the trick is you hang the basket up so it starts to drip out the oil because it's got quite a bit of oil in there sometimes you're going to find some of them might be stuck together um when you're eating them it's okay because they've cooked but sometimes i like to just separate them and let that cook a little bit on, on that side as well see that so that you can just cook a little bit just to give it that brown look so remember we've just um taking out the one that was in the deep fryer which is now this and the one in the regular pot fryer is still frying it hasn't really gotten there yet so that's just what we mean by being patient with it yeah I cut my garlic um remember it's a knife so you want to be very careful you end up cutting your fingers so watch your fingers very well so that's the garlic done I use just two big size tomatoes because you don't want it too heavy you don't want the tomatoes to overpower the egg so you peel your garlic not garlic the ginger and then I'll just throw some ginger in there it's quite um I love the aroma of ginger so I tend to put it in everything I cook these days I really dice up the, the ginger to make it really really small so it just blends into the food and you can just have a hint of it inside it. Ginger sorted out so now I'm going to get the scotch bonnet done. Notice I use a fork for it because they really are hot. So again I dice it just like I'm dicing all the other stuff. one is just perfect um, if you really don't like hot food maybe even half okay so now I'm cutting the onions which is part of the things going into the egg I like to just get the tail off and then I peel the body Okay, so again I dice the onions because it's just you just have to be consistent with how you cut your ingredients if, if it's for dressing it up you can change your cutting method but when you just want to make it part of what you're cooking the lighter the is the easier for people to eat it up when they eat it so that's all my basic things going into the egg already so now I'm gonna get the egg ready so you just crack your egg again remember how many people you want to feed with your food in this case I think I've got about four people eating this so I'm gonna go with a bit of a bit of egg so naturally you put a bit of salt in there, salt, and you stir, make sure this, the salt goes in really well. So in the meantime we got our pot on and make sure the fire is on and then we're going to put the oil in there. 
so if you're joining us on Instagram welcome on board what we're trying to do is the African food which is my favorite thing put some oil in there And this is all we're trying to do. It's called dodo, which is plantain. We just missed a little bit of showing you what happened before now, but now you're part of the egg frying process. So we've got all our ingredients for the egg ready. So we've got the tomatoes, ginger, garlic, scotch bonnet, and onions. And now the fire is on. So the next thing we're going to do now, this is what we call Maggi Cube. Again, it just helps to bring taste to the food. Um, so you get that ready. Open it up. When it comes to frying egg, there's so many ways of frying egg, but this is my one of my favorite ways. So you got your Maggi Cube. You can either sprinkle it on all these things ready for going in, or you add it straight into the egg. I'm going to add some into the egg. And stir it in. So the whole idea of showing you how to work with this dodo and the egg, one of our favorite breakfast meals, is for the young university students, which my daughter happened to be one of them, who really want to eat African dishes but they don't know how to go about it. So these are just spices and herbs that I like to add a little bit to what I'm cooking. So this is sage and I'll put a little bit here into my things for frying. A little bit of rosemary. Again, this is just to bring in lots of nice taste to this food. A bit of basil. Um, there's another one here it's mixed mixed herbs but I'm not going to bother since I've got those three so now I'm waiting for my oil to get hot enough so I'm ready to fry ready is the onion goes in first yeah it is ready because then it makes a bit of a sound tells you it's ready so remember onions first I like to just cook a little bit this is the part my son likes. He really doesn't like onion being just basic. He wants it to cook a little bit. After onion, I'll go with my tomatoes. Remember, tomato is very water-based, so you want to like allow it to cook. Now, what you don't put in immediately is the pepper or the scotch bonnet because that is hot and you may just start cooking really quickly and get into your throat so that starts to cook and then i'll then add the rest of this stuff let it cook and get a bit done before the egg goes in Cook a little bit and so now we're gonna add our egg to it. that time to start cooking itself and while that's cooking I'm gonna quickly get some things ready for a basic vegetable side just so that my food doesn't look all fried up hint of water, not too much, just a hint because I don't want it to be watery
gonna put all my ingredients so you just cook a little bit which is just garlic and onion and then I'll put a hint of salt and all the spices or all the herbs I really dice up the, the ginger to make it really really small so it just blends into the food and you can just have a hint of it inside it. Ginger sorted out so now I'm going to get the scotch bonnet done. Notice I use a fork for it because they really are hot. So I'm going to dice it just like I'm dicing all the other stuff. one is just perfect um, if you really don't like hot food maybe even half that's it ready ready for dishing so i'll move that here because this is where my tension is now so i'll put all the spices i'll put two let me have a bit more this is rosemary this is another one I'm going to add a hint of this as well, maybe anything to just help give you the flavor. Then comes my vegetable. And this is spinach, just fresh baby spinach. Lots of iron keeps you active, moving, alive. And so I'm really ready with this one. And so what will happen is we'll just tear with the rest of the ingredients that we put in. So this is our food ready. Remember what we're cooking is just dodo and egg. So now you can take the food to for your depending on how much you want to eat. I've left that space because I want to add some vegetable there. Again, there are people who are not much into that. But look at that. Beautiful. And um, just a little hint of spinach in the corner. So guys, this is our beautiful, lovely dodo and egg meal. So what I've done, I just added a hint of vegetable, which is spinach on the side, and a bit of tomatoes there, just to make it look really pretty and attractive. Remember, when you see food, you want to see it welcoming you asking you to come and eat me and that's why presentation of food is such a big deal across the world and this is what we want to do with african foods we want to make african food stand out in your face because we have all the vegetables all the root crops everything it is just how we present it that makes it different so there it is 
and I want you to try this at home, test it, and tell me what you think of it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, maybe I'll just eat a little bit so you can... I always love to do this is just me it's one of the foods I love to give my children to eat it is really filling and healthy as well so there it is there will be many more videos showing you different ways of working with the planting or the dough so thank you so much for watching share this with your friends like our video subscribe and thank you so much for all the subscription we've been seeing is getting higher and higher we want to show you as much as we know Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers and God bless you.